Welcome. I'm going to show you how you can use Scopus to find good articles on an unfamiliar subject. I will illustrate this with a search about treating sewage with air and microbes. We don't really know anything about the microbes, so let's just start with a search on sewage and air. We can select different fields, but we'll search in article title, abstract and keywords, since we want uh, as many articles as possible. Restrictions at this point are not necessary. If we want to do them, we can do them later. We get more than 4,000 records. We can sort these. Date is the default, but we can change this to, for instance, relevance. And we can look through the results at the top and see if there's anything interesting. Looking through the records, we see that most of them are not that interesting to us. However, there are uh, more than 4,000 records, and there is a way we could look through most of them at once, and that's through the keyword feature, uh, which is sort of unique to Scopus. There are a maximum of 160 keywords that we can see, and at the top we have sewage, and then we have words like article, sewage treatment, and so on. Looking through these words, suddenly I find the word aeration. And since we want to put air into the sewage, this is a very important word. So aeration or aerated. We want that. So let's remember that this word. We'll use it in a later search. Oxygen. And then bioreactors and activated sludge. This might be important, and also the activated sludge. Let's look what activated sludge is on Wikipedia. And this seems promising. We'll keep this for our search. Our first search was a bit naive, but now, through the keywords function, we have found better words. So, we'll split this search up in separate parts. First part is the part with sewage. Sewage, we found wastewater and we'll use this variation of the word as well. Let's search for that. Now let's do an improved search on the air part. We have the word air, and then for aeration and aerated, we'll just write aerate and then an asterisk. This is called truncation. You can read more about it here, and then finding variations of a word, wildcards. We'll also add the word oxygen. Let's search. Lots of hits, of course. We'll do a separate search on the term activated sludge, which according to Wikipedia and the keywords might be very interesting. Last but not least, we'll also search for bioreactor and note that this is truncated. This is to pick up both bioreactor and bioreactors. Next, we will use the search history to create two searches one broad search and one focused search. Now we can combine the terms for our broad search. We'll use number three and number four. That is the terms for the sewage and the terms for uh, the air together. Or the activated sludge together with bioreactor. Do not forget the parentheses. These are important uh, in order to make a correct search. 40,000 hits, which is much, much better than before. Now let's do the narrow search. Here we'll just use the term activated sludge, which is very specific for what we are searching for, together with bioreactor. And we get almost 4,000 hits, almost as many hits as before, but I think that these hits are much better than what we got from our first search. We can also use the search history to quickly access our old searches. So let's go back to the broad search. Now, another way we can use the keywords is uh, to limit ourselves to articles with certain keywords. So let's say we want to limit ourselves to the articles with bioreactors, bioreactor, or activated sludge. We'll just mark them click limit to, and there we go. If you're not an expert in the field, it's often a good idea to limit yourself to only review articles.
these articles will give you an overview of the subject. It's a good idea to register in Scopus. This will enable you to save your searches. You can register by going here. Registering will allow you to log in. And this in turn will allow you to save your searches, set alerts or feeds. Let's look at saving the searches. I want to save this search, this search, and this one. Note that the searches can now be found under My Settings up here. So here are the searches I just saved and a bunch of old ones. Just before we finish, I want to go back to our review articles. And I want to look at the most cited articles. These are the articles that other researchers have used in their own articles. So we'll sort these articles by citation. If you want to look at the abstract and the keywords for an article, just click on it. If you want to read the full text article, please click on one of these full text links. And then go to the PDF. Then I'll export the two most cited articles to use later in EndNote. Please view our EndNote tutorial for more information on this subject. But to do this, go to Export, select the RIS format and what kind of output you want and click export we'll save it and look at it later let's review our key points when searching in Scopus start off with a simple search using some relevant terms then use the Scopus keyword function to find synonyms then use these synonyms to do a new search. Limit your search if you have to and sort them according to your needs. Why is this better? It's better because you get more results if you want them but more importantly you get better results with more relevant documents. If you're having problems then ask at the KTH library for assistance or take one of our information searching courses. Please visit our homepage for more information. Thank you.